Shall we turn to Holy Believe number 154? Just as I am, would that one play? But that, that blood was shed for me. Oh, Lamb of God, I come, I come. <laughs> Look upon us, your blood. Cleanses us and washes and make us holy and pure in your sight. Give us grace to find favor in your sight. That all that we offer unto you this morning should be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. The fruits of our lips. The sacrifices of our hands. The word of social power that dwell in place in our hands. Shall we talk to him? Oh, we have
And the other sins say, Amen. Amen. So while standing, shall we hope in our Bible to the book of Acts? Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 10. Reading from verse 44 to 48. Why Peter yes spoke this words? The Holy Ghost fell on them which held the word. And they were of the circumcision, which believed, were astonished. As many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was spoiled out the gift of the Holy Ghost. But they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water? that they should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord, then prayed they him to tarry certain days. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. This is the account in the days of Cornelius, when Peter was invited to the house of Cornelius. Oh, I'm an enemy about. Be me ni Petru take Cornelius well, eh? He said, "Why Peter was just speaking the word?" No, I can't be me ni Petru. You are Peter. The Lord told him that he should go. Ni choke like aya. Remember, the angel of the Lord has already told Cornelius. No, I can't. Ni choke about for a key. I have a man who has the keys to the kingdom. Okay, we are Mokoni. We are Manchela and Asamfli. Send to him. And when he comes, he will teach you. He will open the door for you. So when Peter came, the scripture says, Why he yet spit, the Holy Ghost fell on them that held the word. Then people that are gathered in the house of Cornelius, the Holy Ghost came upon them. Remember, they have not been baptized. But they, their heart condition was right before God. So God gave them the baptism. Of the Holy Forty-five said, and they of the circumcision. That were the people that accompanied Peter. Peter Peter which belief were astonished. As many as that came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured the gift of the Holy Ghost. This Holy Ghost that God poured upon us. And these people that we are calling them unclean. They also have received it the way we receive it. They were astonished. They couldn't believe it. How can they be? That is God. It looks at my heart. It looks at your heart. A heart that is prepared, a heart that is, prepared, heart that is consecrated and dedicated for him. God bless you. Amen. Let's send time to the prophet message now. The acts of the Holy Ghost. That's the heart of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus said, He that heareth my words and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life. He said, Not because he joined the church, not because he was baptized, not because he did that or he did that, not because he shouted. Oh, he did other things. Robert said, all those things are right. Johnny Chair baptized him. Shouting. They are all right. But he that has believed from the Lord Jesus Christ has everlasting life. Don't 
The moment you believe on him, you pass from death into life. He said, now, Acts 2.38, Peter said, repent on every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Yes, Christ, okay. Okay. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Remember, it's a gift. That God gives to every man, every woman. No matter, it doesn't respect any person. You are looking at faith. You are faith. You are oh, faith. Oh, oh, now, brother, I have wandered through the years. When I see and I read it, I thought, Lord, here come men and women. I have seen them come to the altar. I have seen them come to the altar. Neither and cry and pray. Oh, God have repented. I'm telling my back these sins. Go and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And a week later, he's out in the world again. Now that is a good thing. Now that is a good thing. Now that is a good thing. He said, I thought, no, oh God, 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 surely your word is not wrong. I, I just can't understand it. He said, by you, Lord, I will continue with you. You said your word. He that abide in me. So, so I continue with him until now. I see what it is. I see what it is. First, the prophet could not understand. Why, after he has preached under the anointing, men and women will come to the altar and weep and cry. And so let them and give their lives to him. And be baptized in the name of the Lord. A week or two weeks, they are in the world. They are out in the world. They are out in the world. They are out in the world. What happened? He said, I can't understand it. It has bothered me. No, it has troubled me. It has troubled me. the Lord revealed to him. Then he made me know. Yeah, see, I know, I know, I know. and I never know it until the Lord just opened it up one day. He said, I can't understand it. And there it was lying right there. Before me. Then I see the people. Nah, it me. wasn't them at the beginning. No man can come to me except my father God. It is not he that want to be. It is God. It is God. That he lets it to be. Allah ko it isn't whether you want to do they don't or not. You have nothing to do with well, it. It is God. He hardens whom he will harden. And you have mercy on whom he will have mercy. That is right. And no matter who you are, you are position you have. Whether you are the president, President Jibojio, whether you are a bum in the, on the streets, Hello, it doesn't make any bit of difference. God has mercy on whom he will have mercy. You don't say, oh, this is the president. I will have mercy on the president. Who no. he will, he has mercy on. Who he will, he hardens. He said, For this cause have I raised a Pharaoh. And I harden his heart. I am a judging. Now I thought, And before the word began, he ordained that so many people down through the ages. Who they will be saved. And everyone that 
is ordained will come to him. Is that right? Amen. Everyone will come. And none of them will be lost. He has ordained it. God has ordained it. And the Bible says in John 3, 16, so he predestinates. Because of his foreknowledge. You know, when this man comes, you know, when this woman comes, she will not be late. God knows all. So he predestinated every man, every woman to what he ought to be. So he knows who will believe, who will not believe. He knows those that will continue to the end. He knows those who will continue to some stage that many do deny the faith. Many batu akata ikwe kabaga ko na afi okwe. So it is only human beings that these things are as own away. But it is not with God. He knows everything from the very beginning to the end. As many that God has given them dreams or visions. Or if you have dreamed before, you know, sometimes you dream. Oh, this person is coming to me. He will wear this dress. He will come and sit here. When he sit here, he will say this, he will say this. Why? Why does it come to pass? Because God knows it. God has ordained it. So in his mercy and his favor to you, he will just open something later for you to see. To know that God knows everything. Amen. Amen. He said, everyone will come, none of them will be lost. He has, he has ordained there to be in the church. Amen. They will be without blemish. They will be without wrinkle. He said, now, nah, as the edge is moving, no, baby, you know who I and am. I will see in the morning the lessons, the great orthodox teachers. One, the orthodox they now then polish as they prepare. Just as only as they are, and they walk on the earth. They will walk on the earth. Yes, you found them blameless. They wouldn't touch this. They wouldn't touch this. They wouldn't touch this. But that was not grace. That was worse. We are saved not by worse. Not what we do. It isn't what I have done that saved me. It is what Christ has done for me. So it is what Christ has done for you. I have no holiness. If I try to say, well, I will quit drinking. If I say, I will try to say, I will quit drinking. I will quit smoking. I will quit stealing, lying, and so forth. That is what I done. That will be my own. I have something to drag about. But I didn't. I didn't quit nothing. He just came to me and took it out of me. Do we understand it? Amen. So it is not you I stop lying. I stop gossiping. When you surrender your life to him, then he comes and take it out of you. So you have nothing to drag. I, I quit this. He I did this. No. He took it out of you. You have nothing to do about it. Hallelujah. Amen. He said that the Holy Spirit then abides him. And he grows daily. Making himself greater and greater. Pushes out the things and the curse of the world out of your life. Temptation comes. As you are overcome them. 
The Holy Spirit takes his place. Do you know what? If you got a rare bad temptation or something, that is not right. He said, overcome that in a few minutes. Thanks. And watch if your testimony doesn't bloom on the account of that. That is it. Satan will bring the temptation. But you are an overcomer. But if you don't consider yourself that I am overcomer, you, you will fall in that temptation. Because this is what Jesus said. God is not ungrateful to allow you to be tempted about what you can be able to do. If you are in class four, you will never allow Satan to bring class these questions and questions to you. No. Oh yeah, class four. No. no. They said where you are. Hey, no, yo. That is the question. Demi, Demi the temptations ka. you allow Satan to bring before you. Demi Allah, Demi ka, Demi mo, ka, mo, abu, sa, ba, ke, ka, and the beautiful aspect is that ni, no, ni, yo, for, eh, yi, ake. with every temptation ake, ka, ko, fe, ko, hu, he makes a way of escape. Is it not a faithful God? Hey, hey, mo, ay, alo, kwa, fo, li, he will not allow Satan to tempt you above what you can Amen. stand. Amen. Then, in that temptation, you will make a way for you. Come out of it from here. Do this, do this. And when he is instructing you, Satan can do nothing. Satan can do nothing, my brother. Satan can do nothing, my sister. So we need to rely on him. God bless you all. Amen. Let us say now, look at Samson. Now Samson. When we found that lion, ran to kill him. And he slew the lion when the power of God came upon him. Slew Bare hands. Just tore the joints apart. He said, "It's a little bitty fellow. Carry her the But he's having, it's a covenant child. Having the seven lungs. That is the secret. That is where the strength is. That is what brings the presence of God. And that is what brings the power of God. And when that seven loss was cut off, it was the same something, but the power has deep. When the spirit left him, he couldn't do anything anymore. He was just like an ordinary man. And the prophet said, without the spirit of the living God motivating the church, motivating the individual, motivating the families, we are like a corpse that has been jeweled with gold. But when the spirit of God is motivating us, we become the wonderment of the world. He says, Satan will be thwarted. Every power of the enemy will be thwarted. Every temptation will be thwarted. Nothing can be able to stand before the church. Because Jesus himself built the church. He himself built it. He said, and the gates of hell. They shall never be against it. This is his word. It will only work for you if you believe it. It will only work for you if you accept it. But if you don't believe it, it will not work for you. 
Because the prophet said, unbelief will always hinder the unbeliever. It will never hinder God. He said, it will rob you of all the blessings of God. He has spoken his word. If you believe it, the blessings fall. You don't believe it. It's close. The word close. Nothing good will come to you before you. Nothing good will come to you. You have blocked your own blessings. God bless you. Amen. So what we need as individuals in our lives is the spirit of God. But one said, if anybody has done anything well recommended, it is the spirit of God that helped that person. So if you can do anything to be recommended, it will be the spirit of God motivating you, the spirit of God leading you. What is the Holy Ghost given for? Preaching 19. 17th December. Are we there? Yeah. Remember, sir, I was talking on power of prayer. Power of speech. Power for holy life. Amen. Amen. That is what the Holy Ghost is to do. You want to pray? He said the Holy Ghost give power. The Holy Ghost gives power to speech. To speak. He gives power for you to live holy life. What is the Holy Ghost? What you cannot do. The Holy Ghost comes to empower you. He says some of you people talking, walking along saying, Well, I just can't quit drinking. I, go, I just can't quit drinking. The Holy Ghost comes to live in you. To make all these cunts get away from you. That's right. Make you women stop cutting your hair. Make you quit wearing shorts and slacks. Stop giving excuses. It makes them quit tattling. Gossiping, tattling. No, 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 no. What does the Holy Ghost make you do? It makes you to talk about the word of God. It makes you make melody in your heart. You sing praises. You sing psalms. You worship the Lord. That's what the Holy Ghost does. No tattling, tattling. Have, yeah, no, have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? No. no. Hey, you he said no. the Holy Ghost is not for that. The Lord says it's not a cesspool. No. The Holy Ghost is holy. That is the life of God in you. It makes you think about the things of God. Talk about righteous things. Talk about holy things. And that is the only way you can be able to get the presence of God. But when say you want angels visitation, he said, talk about Christ. Talk about his word. You have angels visitation. We don't talk about it. But when the Holy Ghost comes, it makes you to talk about Christ. You set your eyes on things in eternal. Always, Lord, what will you have me to do? Things to do to please the Lord. That's your will. Not what I want to do. No. Not seeking favor from any man. No. But seeking favor from God. That's all. 
And when you get that favor from God, God will empower you to go anywhere. That is what the church needs. That is what the individual needs. That is what the family needs. It will bring the blessings of God in our lives. Amen. 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 I believe we are following. Amen. He said, Me then, pay their tattling and others and make you. Live holy life. It will follow the instructions of the Bible every time. You follow it. Do not say that like a woman say, oh, it is too hot. The the go. Go. Is too hot. So you are supposed to your body. No. No. Dabi. no. Dabi. The hot people will not allow you, you to do Why will you not allow you to do it? He you said, your body is the temple of the living God. That your the body is the, is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So what will you do? You want to. God wants to dwell there. So you always want to present yourself. For him to be satisfied with you. He lives. He wants to use a leaf to speak. So will you use it for gossiping? No, okay, okay. For tattling? Okay, okay, okay. Tattering? No! no, 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 no. He said that my, my mouth will be filled with messages from my bar. Sing only, sing only for thee. Sing only your praises. Worship you only. That is what the Holy Ghost does. No, no, that no, is the no, Holy Ghost no, man, no, Holy Ghost no, woman. No, 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 you are no, no, not of your own. If the Lord holds you. No, That's why Paul said, I'm a prisoner. No, no, the no, you become a prisoner for the Lord. So no, you don't copy the fashions of this world. No, I have no, seen this no, style. I have seen this style. You are following the fashions of the world. You are following the spirit of the world. That is Satan's spirit you are following. That is not the Holy Ghost. But the Holy Spirit will make you to follow Christ. It will make you to follow the instructions, the prophets, the instructions of the Bible. Instructions of the prophets, the instructions of the Bible. Instructions of the prophets, the instructions of the Bible. Instructions of the prophets, the instructions of the Bible. Instructions of the prophets, the instructions of the should be the innermost part okay. with a quiet and a mixed spirit yes, which is before God of a great price. Yes, that is the ornament. That is the ornament she's wearing. So the dresses. Gorgeous dresses. No, Golds and pearls. No, no, no. He said the Hindi man that is your dress. You have become a temple for God. You speak. It you, speak. you stand here and you are ministering songs. You see the songs bringing healing. The songs yeah. bringing deliverances. Why? God has taken a hold of your tongue. One thing that the church of the living God we don't recognize. Because they look at David under the blood of Jesus. That consecrated life that he lived. Just playing the string will be casting out demons. Casting out demons. He said, so was taken to all the hospitals in the All specialists were called because he is the first man. That of was able to do. 
None of the medicines was able to cure him. But a small boy. A small boy. Who has consecrated and dedicated his life to God. He has consecrated his to God. Consecrated his hands to God. Was just playing the sling. And that demon. That demon will be living. Running away. They couldn't stand that consecrated son. A young boy. Not a middle boy. A middle age. Young bro. Living under the blood of bulls. And we living under the blood of the people. If we consecrate ourselves to him, our lips, our hands to him, look at what God can use that to do. See how we are failing him. We are failing him. We are failing God. We can't see miracles. We can't see this. We are always pointing accusing fingers. But you don't put point it to yourself. Look at it when you are pointing like this. All the four is pointing at you. All your four fingers are pointing at you. So what they are asking is, how about you? How about you? Who are you? Who are you? David, a little young boy. David, this is how he consecrated himself. Mary, a young girl. Obra, you, uh, Mary, she Obra, consecrated you. herself. Le how about you? Boom. None of us has any excuse. Let's all look at it. Who am I in the program of God? In God's symphony, what am I playing? What am I playing? Think about it. Take my life and let it be. Consecrate it. That the Lord should take our life. I can do no wala. Ni ani fi wala na tu yale. Wagume wala wale. God bless you. Amen. Sunday we'll be talking about how to receive the Holy Ghost. What's the the prophet gave. From the message. And from the word of God. 